Hi, welcome to the social space. I did my arm thing. Uh, this is the show all about Wichita Falls, Texas, and the whole wide world. Jack, I'm gonna thank these uh, partners of ours real quick. Yes. Ch Channel 6, KAUZ, 10.30 Saturday nights, but we gotta talk about that later. Yeah. Uh, Town Square Media, yes. News Talk 1290, 10.30 a.m. You can hear it. And then, of course, Falls Truck Center at yeah. Pack Sign at Falls Truck Center. Sean and Tanya. That's right. We love, we love Sean and okay. Tanya. Always grateful for them. So everyone's grateful for them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, Eric, I'm Eric Crossland. We got Jackie Hager over there uh, holding a jersey. I am. Mm -hmm, kind mm -hmm. of excited. Andrew Bell over there lusting after the jersey <laughs> yes. design. Yes. Because uh, he is our graphic designer. And to my right, Jordan Wozniak. Ooh. Jordan, how you doing? Good, good. I, I guess I don't know your title for the, um, the Warriors exactly. <laughs> well, I hold a lot of hats. Yeah. Um, that's what's fun about this organization is that everyone is kind of a little part of everything. So um, most of the time I'm working with game operations. So I'm helping get all the videos up. And for me, every game is a show, basically. I want you to come and watch hockey, but I also want you to come and have a good time. Uh, I also work with group sales. So anytime anyone wants to come in groups of 10 or more, or you get a group that you're almost at 10, that's, I'm the one who you call, birthday parties, players, nice. everything. All that yeah. So uh, uh, you and your husband, y'all aren't from the area. You came here uh, to, for this uh, job, I believe. You just wanna tell us a little bit of how this came about? Yeah, absolutely. So um, before I was working with the LA Kings, um, I was working in their hockey development department. So what I was doing is I was actually going out with fans and kids um, out in the community and we would do clinics or we would go out and just kind of spread the word of hockey because um, that's what it is, right? So in LA, it's um, in Orange County, it's we're growing that hockey culture and we really want to grow that fan base. So we're out there kind of one-on-one -on -one with everybody. Um, and then I was working at Disneyland as well. So um, then I was really working with everybody <laughs> um, from all over the world um, of all ages. And it kind of came about, my brother was drafted to this team um, he's now the captain, and my name kind of got thrown around, and the opportunity presented itself. So uh, we decided to make the leap and come on out to Wichita Falls, and it's been great so far. Good. Yeah, it's been awesome watching uh, Jackson Wozniak, the Waz level people left and right out there, hit of the That's hit of awesome. the game every game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just about every game. We know if we haven't had it yet, we're like, I just find a clip of Jackson, it'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about this uh, yes. jersey yes. that you have going on <laughs> and uh, the promos that you have for the fans and and all that good stuff. Absolutely. So December uh, 18th and 19th. The boys will be wearing these jerseys, which are our Christmas set. Um, so they're nice and all custom with, uh, it looks kind of like a fun, ugly sweater. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so after the game on Saturday the 19th, we'll live auction off these jerseys uh, to benefit Hospitus of Wichita Falls. Oh, so we've got yeah. Teddy Bear Toss Night the night before where we donate teddy bears to Guardians of the Children. And Teddy Bear Toss Night is different from normal um, normal donations, normal stuffed animal donations, fans bring the stuffed animal and they wait and hold them in their seat until the warriors score. As soon as they score, teddy oh. bears go flying oh. onto the ice. That's fun. <laughs> so it's just and a that's big gonna, uh, and yeah. That's, that's Friday? That's that's Friday. Yeah, let, let's cover this real quick. If you're watching this on Friday, we release it Fridays kind of right after noon online. You can still go to both of these games. If it's Saturday night and you're watching this on Channel 6, you did miss these, these games, but there's plenty more. We play till almost May, uh, right up until Yeah, May. right uh, almost till May. We keep The season keeps slowly kind of extending, which is nice. <laughs> we get to stay here <laughs> a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have plenty more. We have three more jersey auctions coming up. So two more custom jerseys. One is a military appreciation night, and that's coming in February. Um, we'll have a nice custom jersey with, again, the same live auction wow. um, cool. after that's the cool. game. Yeah. You know, I used to uh, be a part of a hockey team when I was uh, in sixth grade. Yeah. We were the Sabres. The Sabres? Uh -huh. <laughs> Didn't nice. care anything, but the jersey was cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's know? what it's about. I mean, that's part of why my brother started, right? Because it's, yeah. it's all the equipment. You yes. got the skates, and then the socks, and then this, and then that, and the helmet. Like, oh, yeah. it's all about the gear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, like a, you're like a ninja warrior. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's, I can't wait to watch them play in these uh, yeah. this, this weekend. A that's going to be so much A sea of ugly Christmas. 
the sweaters it's on gonna, ice. It's going to be so good. We've got, and then all the fans, we invite all the fans to wear ugly sweaters. I'll be out there in arena host, so I'll be out there in my ugly sweater. It'll be a good time. That's so cool. you guys play at K. Yeager, of course, and these are your typical jerseys, right? Yeah, so normally we wear those white ones. Um, there's a bunch of kind of fun symbolism within the jersey Yeah. Um, that we kind of like, it's hidden and it's there, but if once you see it, like that's all you see now. Um, so within the helmet, if you look at the two eye holes, those are actually two hockey sticks. And the fun graphic design behind it, the fun lines, if you kind of take a look, it's actually the state of Texas. That's Very pretty cool. cool. So how do how do uh, people go about getting tickets? I've, I've stared. Hold on one second. <laughs> you I've wait a minute. You never this, noticed that? <laughs> I've stared at this logo so often that I've never noticed Texas back there. Now I can't unsee. And it. now you can't unsee it. <laughs> and the hockey yeah. sticks. Yeah. All right, sorry, Jackie. No, no, no. That was. I don't think I would have picked it out either had you not told me. Well, and then on the I would have picked out the hockey sticks. I think, God, but not maybe me. not the state of Texas. I love it so much more now. <laughs> And then the, sh the shoulder patch is my favorite patch. Uh -huh. The Other this side. one, the shield. Okay, I love that one because he looks kind of vintage, but he also pays homage to yeah. the Shepherd Air Force Base and then the Lone Star State. Can you purchase these jerseys too? So these jerseys, the fan jerseys, replica jerseys, are also available for sale. Okay, um, you can order them at the games. Um, you can also order them online through our website, which is www.wichitafallswarriors.com. Cool. There you go. You know, um, Kay Yeager is a big place. So I think parents could feel comfortable about social distancing and getting the kids out of the house. And gosh, you could probably sit at the very top if you wanted, <laughs> yeah. you know, and still see the game, though, really well. Oh, absolutely. How does someone go about getting tickets or group tickets or birthday tickets or just family night? Oh, absolutely. So our website has a lot of information on tickets and where we can buy them. Our website is www.wichitafallswarriors.com. Okay. The other way to get it is also you can email me. Um, I email right back. It's fun to talk to you, I promise. <laughs> the email is WF. NAHLHockey at gmail.com. Wow, right. easy for you to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I've been to every home game, um, and I've, I've got to tell people, like, it's so much fun, you know, come out and try it, you know. It, yeah. it's, it's, like, it's like Jordan was saying, it's not just the hockey game, there's fights. Uh -huh. you know? um, she has games at halftime, at quarters, where, you know, you get down on there on the ice uh, and play the games. And then, uh, how about uh, open skate? Why do you want to talk about that? Absolutely. So oh, yeah. after the games, we host a public skate on the ice. So right after the players get off, um, we invite fans to come on down to ice level. You can rent skates. Skate rental is $10 if you need to purchase skates with it, $7 if you bring your own. Um, you get to come out onto the ice. And something new that we're kind of starting into this new year is the players will actually come out onto the ice as well. Um, so we do ask everyone mask up because our guys are kind of in a bubble so that we can keep playing and keep putting on a good show. Um, but they come out, they'll sign autographs, take pictures, and kind of hang out and skate with you guys. It's fun. Very cool. Kids love that. Can you imagine you finish yeah. watching a game and you get to go hang out on the field with the players? Oh, yeah. We yeah. used to do it oh, uh, when the other hockey team was here. Yeah. It was so much fun. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Andrew also was a star high school football <laughs> <No>. player. <laughs> He's an athlete. <laughs> yeah, we, get to, we mention it in every show. <laughs> If you ever walk outside the impact at noon, you can probably see him running. Yes. All right. Well, Jordan, thank you so much. Did we miss anything? I think. I think. I think hey, we've Jordan, got thanks for making Wichita Falls your home. Yes, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Thank you, know? you. We've loved it so far. Everyone we've ever met has just been so completely nice and so welcoming. It's awesome. So it's been it's been an easy transition to come on over. Oh, well, well, Christmas break is coming up. What a great place to take the kids to over the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. Well, we're continuing uh, yeah. talking Warriors because we got the owner of the oh. team here. How do we do that? I Jordan Broder. Mary Ann Choi. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks for being here. Hi. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for like, uh, we, we sure are glad you came out here. Tell us your background. Where, where are you from? Uh, and, uh, you know, and we'll get into why you, you brought the team here later. But just uh, who are you? Where are you from? What you do? Uh, well, my actually, I'm a physician. I'm an anesthesiologist. And I've lived in Dallas, Texas for about 25 years. Mm -hmm. Originally from New Jersey, though. So our jobs brought us to Texas. And we've been there ever since. Love what's, it. What's the biggest difference between New Jersey and Texas? Oh, the weather. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in fact, I'll never forget my first summer in Ooh. Texas. It was had to have been triple digits in the oh. summer, and I didn't oh. appreciate how hot the concrete could get. Oh, yeah. I'm walking across in shoes to my car, and I'm sticking to the pavement. And I look behind, and my heels are literally melting on the pavement. Yeah. Like, you've got to be kidding. It's that hot that my shoes are melting. We Welcome had, to Texas. We had a I was shocked. We had 100 days of over 100 degrees like, a few summers yeah. ago. Yeah. But don't worry, worry, because it could snow the next day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really, right. Well, it was funny. When we first came here, my kids were not one wasn't even born, and my daughter was not even a year. When it first snowed and she was old enough to recognize weather, she's like, what's that white stuff? <laughs> like, oh my gosh, now we've really been in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what snow is. Marianne, why yeah. hockey and why own a team in Wichita Falls? I know, well, it's not because I played myself. <laughs> <laughs> but, but my son actually, believe it or not, played. Um, he grew up playing in Texas. That's and awesome. there are rinks around, and so... He got into it because he loved the gear, of mm -hmm. course. You yeah. know, he just had, he thought it was the coolest thing. I knew nothing of hockey. I'm like, okay, so we'll go try this learn to skate thing. And it evolves. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, from when he was five years old all the way through to he played in this league. Yeah. And wow. it was really because of going through what he went through and understanding this particular league. And I thought, you know what? I've been blessed my whole life. I really think I can give 27 young men an opportunity that they wouldn't have had otherwise. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're a new team, so we have 27 new players. Yep. So that's a chance for all these great kids to have somewhere where they can achieve their goal of getting that elusive NCAA commitment. Yeah. And there's so much that goes into that process. And I thought, you know what? I think I can do it and do it the right way and do it well mm -hmm. and give them a chance to be able to achieve that goal. I mean, I'm blessed. And, you know, my son was able to get his commitment, but it wasn't easy. He's yeah. at West Point now, right? Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's That's playing awesome. for their hockey team there. And, you know, it's an honor for him to have gotten that far, mm -hmm. but it wasn't easy. Yeah. And so I understand as a parent what it takes. And so yeah. I'm hoping I can you know, provide for these players some of the experiences I've went through. Well, and you know, the rumor was, Jackie, when they were coming to the town, that uh, that Marianne was uh, buying this team so her son could play on it. <laughs> and, and that's what everyone thought. And then I asked her right before the show, and she's like, no, I purposely waited for him to be out of the league. Oh, it's the yeah. exact opposite of what everybody you thought. You know, that's so true. I mean, I know a lot of people do do that and yeah. just for a place for their kid, but to me, that's enabling them. They have to be able to do do it their own way and yeah. make their own mark. And if he's not good enough, he's not good enough. I'm not going to enable that sure. and give him that. What does that teach you in life? Yeah. yeah. So, so for a Dallas physician <laughs> to buy a hockey team know, right? <laughs> and put it in Wichita Falls yeah. and be a female owner, <laughs> um, we're impressed with your grit and your grind. Tell us what it's like to be a female owner of a hockey team. Well. You know, I am the only female owner in the league, and there's 28 teams in the league. Wow. wow. And, you know, it's hard. Um, I think that the expectation is, oh, she has no idea what she's doing. You know, mm -hmm. she yeah. doesn't know. But that drives me more. I mean, I think yeah. I've just been driven so much in my life to achieve what we can do, you know, and be successful. And it's all about hard work and how much you believe in yourself. And really, this country... No matter what you do, if you put your mind to it, you can achieve anything. And I really believe that. Yeah. And, you know, it is a male-dominated field. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is. I'm not going to lie. Um, and it took some effort for a phone call to be returned or an email to be returned. But you know what? If you're persistent, you're going you're gonna to do it. And I think that I have the right staff in place. You know, true. I may not know everything about hockey or nuances of a team, but I have the right people in place to help with that. Yeah. 
And I think uh, you know, if you do the right things the right way, then it doesn't matter, male, female. You know, we're producing a winning team, and I think that you know, we're going to be here for many, many years to come. Yeah. That's, that's so, Eric, I'm hear. pretty pumped because <laughs> yeah. I, listen. I, feel, um, I feel your passion when somebody tells you you can't do something. Oh, yeah, no, that it makes drives me harder. <laughs> I'm like, them. watch me go. <laughs> yes. I, I feel you. So congratulations. Oh, well, thank you. Well, I also want to touch on, you, uh, you're you doing a little bit of the designing yeah. on these, th these yeah, guys yourself, right? Yeah, you know, right? uh, we have a company that they don't really have that many templates so you kind of have to have a vision of what you like and I kind of know what I wanted sure. for this jersey I knew exactly what I wanted for that it just took a long time to get the right color tone the right grays the never realized how many shades of orange there are in the yeah. color wheel oh my gosh yeah. <gasps> that was hard is it orange our official color jackie orange well and black? it's one of our official yeah. colors i think it's what color orange, yeah. 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 orange. i don't there. think it's that orange yes it's that orange yeah. Yeah. or that orange but i love i love the design of your shield and your logo oh, that's beautiful thanks. i wanted something simple i wanted a professional look something yeah. clean uh -huh. Something that, you know, wasn't like an exaggerated animal or something. I just wanted to be, like I said, a clean professional look. And I think that that uniform really portrays what our vision was. Mm -hmm. I was at the press conference when ice. you guys unveiled it. Oh, I, had that, I had that on video, actually. Okay. And uh, everyone murmuring around, myself included, was like, I really like that. Like, I like the colors. I like that it's not a cartoon. Yep. Which there's nothing wrong with those. No, but we've had it's that. just something right. different. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to have my own stamp on the league. Yeah. And the color tones, I think it looks great with 23 guys on the ice with that color tone. Oh my gosh. I can't they imagine really the gift out. that you're giving to those 23 guys. Tell me how those, how many teams are in your league again? 28. Tell me how those 27 other male owners are handling you today. <laughs> uh, well, you know, it's all about who's going to beat who, you know. Yeah. We're enemies on the ice, but <laughs> off the ice, they have been nothing but supportive of That's me. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. They really have been great. I mean, I get calls all the time. What can we do to help you? Do you have any questions? Yeah. We always share ideas about how to promote each other's sure. businesses. Because we're in our own markets, so you know our ideas may help somebody else in their market, and vice versa. But boy, when we're on that sheet of ice, it's a totally <laughs> different ball game. Hey, and we've had some good wins this year. This for, for first year, you know, we're really playing well. You so know, are these awesome. teams outside of Texas? Or well, are they... there's broken up into different divisions. Okay. So there's 28 total. There's teams all the way in as far as Alaska. Oh, okay. Wow. And so but there's... But outside of ours is New Mexico. The rest yes, of Texas, Yes, there's right? a couple yeah. outside of Texas. So yeah. there's Amarillo, Lone Star, Odessa, um, Odessa Shreveport, Shreveport, which is in Louisiana. That's right. yes. New Mexico is in New Mexico. Yeah. Then the two teams that chose to pause for the season are Corpus Christi, in Texas and Kansas City. Oh, okay. Kansas so, City. Oh, that's yeah, oh, cool. so that's those are, you know, teams that just chose to pause, but that's fine for their sure. restrictive reasons for what's going on, but sure. um, so there's six within our own division. Yeah. And what happens is you play amongst yourselves for the regular season and you hope to make playoffs. The yeah. top four teams by record advance to playoffs and we're hoping we're going to be one of those four. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, and then from there, the winner of that division will go and play the winner of the other divisions. Mm -hmm. And the winner of that wins what's called the Robertson Cup, which yep. is what everyone's like the Stanley Cup of yep. junior That's hockey. Awesome. So mm -hmm. we're That's hoping really to get cool. as far as we can our first season. Heck yeah. yeah. And like I said in the first segment, if you haven't been out, it's so much fun. Come yeah. on out. It's safe. You can sit far away from people if you want. And uh, it's just uh, it's so exciting, so fast paced. So much fun. Your kids mm -hmm. will love it. And, and well, he talks efforts. about it every day at work, especially yeah. after a game. Constantly. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's fun. My goal, I mean, like I said, I don't know everything there is to know about hockey, but it's the fan entertainment. I want yeah. everyone here to go out and enjoy a Friday and Saturday in an inexpensive, fun way uh -huh. that you probably wouldn't have done otherwise. And you don't even have to understand hockey to have fun. Oh, no. I will say we've paused the kiss cam. 
until we're out of this pandemic. Oh. We had a little meeting about that beforehand. Maybe no kiss cam this well, year. Well, I think we're doing the fist, fist cam. Fist the fist cam. I don't know, but those are always fun. Yeah. Because yeah, you try to get the cam. refs involved yeah. or the players yeah. and all that. Yeah. Oh, that's but you can cool. dance for your, we'll get you on there dancing on the big screen, you know. Kids that's love a dance for your dinner. Dance that's going to start, too. There you go. Yeah. There you go. You know, we do that at Eric Crossland's home for <laughs> Middle-aged women dance for women. That's terrible. Well, Got it. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, Mary Ann, for being yeah, on here. Thank you for um, joining me. And get out there. You get, like we say, there's plenty of games all through May, until May. So get out there and watch some games, you guys. Yeah. Enjoy some hockey and support a local team. Obviously, the owner is, is awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're going to do in the third segment when we come back, we're going to do another uh, Hager highlight this week. So we'll okay. be right back with that. Thank you. Your Wichita Falls Warrior. Four incredible radio stations. That's who we are. We are Town Square Media, and we bring the best of radio to the North Texas area. Wake up early with News Talk 1290. That's us. How about Kelly Raspberry on 92.9 NIN? Yep, that's us. Bringing you the best of country with 102.3 The Bull. That's us. And rocking it all day long with 106.3 The Buzz. That's us. We are Town Square Media, and we're proud to be a sponsor of The Social Space. Hey, welcome back. Uh, Hager highlight time, guys. Um, what do we, I mean, we do so many things here, Jackie. And, and in our department, in the video department, we do documentaries, we, we do, do commercials, we do uh, campaigns. Websites, campaigns. Website, yeah. yeah. And, um, and we got the show. We do a lot of great work. Let's we show do. some things up. I don't know okay. what you're about to see right here, folks at home, but you're about to see something. <laughs> something and it's, cool. And, and if you want, like what you see, yeah. give us a call. We make something like that for you. Yep. All right. Uh, on behalf of everybody that was on the show today, Jordan Wozniak, Mary Ann Choi. Am I saying your last name right? Yes. Okay. Andrew Bell. I know yours. Jackie yes. Hager. I'm Eric Crossland, and this has been The Social Space. Yay. Bill Ozier, who runs it in for the touchdown. Our first on the board. For the touchdown, Notre Dame leads. Well, back eight. comes Notre Dame. Notre Dame comes back to win in five, taking that final score. Notre Dame goes on to win big, 65 No matter the 18. size of the school, six-man football passion runs deep in Texoma.
That should come out. I wasn't in Boy Scouts. What does this mean? I'm glad you asked. Can I leave now? It means I'm going in. Be careful! Yes. 